What's up guys, it's John, and today we're out at the range testing out the CMC Triggers flat blade. Now, CMC is a Texas-based company, and they make some pretty cool products. What's special about this, not only is it uh, ultra cool zombie colors and, you know, blood splatter, but it's also a flat blade single stage trigger drop-in unit, which means it's super easy to install. And as you'll see today, it's got some really, really great break and take up. I think this is one of the better triggers on the market and you should definitely take a look at this. So let's get out and let's put some rounds down range and show you guys exactly why I like this thing. One of the unique features about this particular trigger is that it's a flat blade. And as you know, I love my Geisley Super Dynamic 3-gun trigger, and this is in that same vein. Obviously, the design is a little bit different because it has the hook here on the bottom. However, this, the same principles apply. It brings your finger a little bit forward and allows your brain to think that this is a shorter take-up and reset as compared to a curved trigger. Now the hook on the bottom is special because it essentially does not allow your finger to slide off. It kind of gives you a good repeatable place to put your finger. You kind of slide down and hook into that and I like that a lot. I think that's a smart design. It will also help if you're wearing gloves or something like that and can't necessarily feel the blade of the trigger as much so you can have a point to stop. Essentially it's like a grip stop for your trigger. Now let's take a second and talk about the feel of this trigger. The brake is very, very clean. The reset is super positive and audible. I really, really like that. But in comparison to something like a Geisley Super Dynamic 3 gun, there is a little bit of a difference in the feel. The Geisley is a little bit sharper brake, where the CMC is more like what I would call a carrot-like brake. Is that a bad thing? No, because as you can see, I can still rip on it pretty quickly, and I really, really like the thing. So what do I think about the CMC single-stage drop-in triggers? Quite honestly, it's one of the best trigger systems that I've ever shot. The brake, although slightly fatter than a Geisley, is still very, very good. The reset is very, very positive, and I really like that. The other things that I really like are the hook on the bottom of the trigger. I feel that that helps with consistent finger placement, and that gives you more consistency with shot placement. You know, consistency is key here, and having a spot to go back to with your finger every single time is a positive thing. It's a good thing. The other thing I like, obviously, is the flat blade. I feel like bringing my finger forward on the trigger helps me with speed and implied reset. You know, you, it kind of tricks your brain into thinking it's a shorter reset. So I really like that. The number one thing, the number one thing with the CMC is the drop-in portion of it. This is one of the easiest to install triggers I've ever messed with. I mean, you literally just take it out of the package, drop it in, put the screws in, and you're ready to rock. Whereas other systems that come in pieces and this and that, set screws, blah, 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 they take time to install. This is something you could throw in right before you go to the range and rock and roll, right before you go to a competition, whatever. I mean, this is good to go. I am a huge fan. So guys, definitely check out the CMC single stage drop-in triggers from approximately $190 to $230 in price range. I mean, it's a home run, right on par with other really, really good trigger systems. If you enjoyed the video, guys, give it the old thumbs up. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.